everybody, it's Julianne from Carrie Quilting with today's Two Minute Quilter. I'm going to show you how to make a cotton reversible face mask since the CDC is now recommending that people wear cotton face masks in public. Just underneath this video, you're going to find a link to the directions um, that'll give you everything you need to make this. So over here I have the pieces that are required for the mask. This is the front of the mask, which would be this. This is the lining piece. And then this is a sew-in interfacing that provides a little bit of stability so the mask kind of stands up and away from your face while you're wearing it. I don't have any elastic because quilters don't typically use elastic, but I found these Revlon Stronger Hold Elastics at our neighborhood Walgreens and they are perfect for this purpose. So I've cut out these three with the template that you'll find in the pattern and now I'm going to stack these together for sewing. So I've got my two front pieces and they're going to have the interfacing on either side of them and then my two lining pieces. So we're going to carry these to the sewing machine and sew the first line which is the center seam. I'm going to be using a quarter inch seam to sew this front seam line on the lining piece and the top piece. And there's no need for back stitching here because these ends are going to be cased within the next stitching lines. For the next step, you're going to iron in the short ends, one quarter inch. So you'll take the, the wrong sides together and just do a little quarter inch fold and iron that down on both sides of your lining piece and both sides of your front piece, which also now has the interfacing sewn into it. For the ones with the interfacing, I like to cut away a quarter inch of the interfacing and then you can actually fold the fabric over that interfacing to make a nice crisp edge. I've already cut away this side. Now we're back to the sewing machine. So at this point, I've got two halves to my mask, the front and the inside, and I need to put these together. So I'm going to pin them together, starting with the centers and working out to the left and right edges. So I like to pin the centers first and then pin the side and then go back in for the middle. And you kind of have to smooth it because you've got a little bit of a curve in there. So you kind of have to mess with it a little. And once it's all pinned, you're gonna sew that line with a quarter inch seam. I'll take it right over here and you do want to back stitch this on the front and back end here you want to pivot Then you'll do the same for this bottom line. Pin down here and sew that edge. Leave the left and right sides open. I have the bottom edge pinned together and now I'm going to give it a quick trip with a quarter inch seam. Back stitching at the front and back. Make sure that seam is tucked under. Sure, these guys are tucked under. Now 
Now at this point, once you remove the pins, you actually want to turn this mask right side out. So you just kind of push it through itself until it's right side out. You want to smooth it. You can use your iron for this or just sort of finger press it into shape. And then optionally, I um, prefer to do this top stitch along this bottom edge and this top edge to help it hold its shape better. Just running a quick top stitch right near that seam line. with that a little to make sure your quarter inch seam stays inside. There's that top stitch line on the top of the mask and now I'm just going to sew the similar line on the bottom. I've pinned my piece of elastic in, and just so you know, um, I didn't have elastic at my house, so I went and bought Revlon Essentials hair ties, and this is just a hair tie cut in half. So I've pinned it into the inside of this mask, and I'm going to try it on myself. This is a lot easier if you have a friend to help you, but you'll just center the center seam right here on your nose, wrap this around your ear and then decide where you think it would feel comfortable. Hang on to that, take off the mask, and then pin that so you'll know exactly what length you want your elastics to be. I just stuck a pin all the way through it. Once you have this length determined, you'll stick the ends of the elastic down inside the mask and just sew a final seam line across this whole thing back stitching where the elastic is to give it a little more stability. So I've determined that this is the perfect length for this mask. I have both pieces of the elastic inside the mask and I'm gonna run my final stitch right along this line, a quarter inch in and then also an eighth of an inch in to make sure that these two elastic ends are really well stuck inside there. There you can see the elastic is now inside the mask entirely. And I'll do the same thing on the other side and then it's ready to be worn. And now you've got your mask all finished. Um, the CDC recommends that you wash these between uses. So you may wanna make a few for yourself and a few for your friends. And also I just uh, wanted to point out that this is not an antiviral or antibacterial mask. Um, this is just a cotton mask with an interfacing. Thank you for watching.